Hey everyone, Strato Designs here. Today we'll be learning how you can create a really cool 3D intro inside of After Effects using Element 3D and the Pro Shaders add-on. Uh, so the thing that we'll be creating is um, something like this. Uh, a really sweet 3D text flows inside uh, to the center. Um, and it's simple yet really cool. So let's get right on to it. Here we are inside of After Effects. You want to go to File, New, New Project. You want to click on this New Composition button right here. We'll name this composition Element 3D Intro. Right. Uh, I'll have it at 10 seconds long. Uh, I'll be having the width at 1280 by 720 for recording purposes. Although 1920 could be a choice for the best uh, quality. And the uh, aspect ratio should be at squares pixels, and the frame rate is at 29.97. Uh, so let's click on OK. Uh, now let's uh, pr press Ctrl Y or right click. Go to Layer New, Solid. Uh, with the help of uh, a solid, we'll be applying our effect. Uh, let's name the solid as Element. Uh, we'll have this as Comp Size. Uh, we want to have it as a black solid, and click on OK. Uh, now what we want to do is create a new camera right here and we'll name this camera I'll just remove the one as it is really annoying and click on OK and again click on OK uh, you want to create a new text object now and we'll type in um, let's see let's type in element I'll just bring it here second uh, I'll just uh, release the caps lock so that we can preview our text we want to click uh, we want to click on the text tool so that we can edit the font right here and in the uh, character menu we uh, click on the font and type in kill the noise uh, you can get this font on the font.com for free it is a really cool font that you can use uh, the positioning or the size of the text does not matter as we'll be using it as a mask. Uh, we'll get onto the, uh, that once we are there. What we want to do now is that um, load up our effects and presets. Uh, depending upon the number of presets you have, uh, uh, the more time it will take to load uh, load them in. Now what we want to do is, uh, is that you want to hide this element layer by clicking on this eyeball right here. Uh, you want to go to the element solid object that the black solid that we created and make the effect controls panel active so that we can see what's happening now you want to go to your effects and presets and click uh, in the search bar and type in element uh, and we'll just drop that into here um, by the way element is a paid plugin from video copilot that can be used to render 3d objects um, and is a really great plugin for After Effects and for and for designers uh, who are into motion graphics. Uh, if you see, we don't have any uh, option for extrusion of our selected text, so we have to do that outside of the workspace. So we'll just close that. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to custom layers in custom texts and masks, and you want to go to path layer one, and you want to select element. Uh, now once that's done we close this uh, drop down and go to scene setup and uh, click on this extrude button right here in the middle and on the top by clicking that we will have our text right here uh, we'll click off of the draft texture so that we can see the final quality of our render and now uh, while you are uh, on extrusion model the text that you are having you want to click on extrusion model and in the extrusion options you want to select bevel copies and change that from 1 to 2 now what you want to do is you want to go to presets and once you have the pro shaders uh, that is an add-on for this uh, uh, plugin element 3d uh, you want to go to metal and you want to select the black steel and put that onto bevel 1 and then you want to select brushed metal dirty texture and put that on to bevel 2 uh, first off you won't see any change and it won't look really attractive so what you might want to do uh, is just play with the options a little bit so let's start with um, the black seal texture we'll extrude it to around let's say um, 
2.7 let's see um, uh, maybe a bit more let's put that to 2.88 uh, all right uh, now you want to increase this bevel size here uh, a bit by dragging this to the right let's see we just want to smooth it out a bit from the front portion right here I guess this looks okay so we have the bevel size as 1.10 and we will uh, check a mark um, bevel backside <coughs> so that we get the bevel on the backside as well and get a bit of smoother texture right here now what we want to do is we want to go to our brushed metal dirty texture uh, which is the, our bevel 2 second bevel uh, you want to increase the extrude or first of all before uh, increasing the extrude you want to increase the bevel size so that we can see <coughs> where our model is going so let's see I guess around 1.58 or a bit more um, it depends upon you it totally depends upon you how much you, you want your bevel to be uh, I guess I'll have it at um, alright I'll have it at 2.08 I will increase the extrude so that um, it covers up uh, our text uh, to the front and just leaves a little uh, a really little space uh, for the black seal texture to be visible let's say um, 2.5 works really well and we'll again click on bevel back side right here uh, once you've done that what you want to do is you want to go to your environment uh, in the default environment you want to click on the default and you want to change the environment from uh, the default to the shop environment which gives it a golden uh, golden kind of glow over itself and after that you could uh, simply play with the lighting as well for example you can put on dramatic and whatnot. I guess we'll have it at default for the moment uh, although you can obviously play and uh, test with different settings and different uh, presets and different materials uh, to get a result that you like so I guess that looks pretty nice uh, for now and we'll click on OK uh, and here we have uh, uh, scene uh, ready and the, uh, the uh, part or uh, the portion that's left now is actually really simple first of all we'll go, uh, we'll go into the camera and click on the unified camera tool and with the right, mou uh, right mouse uh, button selected we'll just drag down so that we zoom out of here and uh, let's see I guess this much is alright the position that you set for your camera right now is the position uh, that you want to uh, have your uh, 3D uh, layer uh, or the 3 text at in the uh, final render so you will we'll just get uh, to this in a moment so we'll just go back to uh, arrow key arrow tool right here now you, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the custom layers uh, I'm sorry world transform option right here and also drop down the world rotation inside of it now uh, it depends upon how long you want your animation to run for example I'll have it uh, I'll have it a bit slow and will take it to around um, let's see six seconds once we are there we'll keyframe the world position in Z axis we'll position it on the uh, X Y axis and we'll also position keyframe the rotations right here uh, so what we have done is uh, that world position X Y uh, world position Z world position world rotation X Y Z are all keyframed right here on the six uh, six second mark so that this uh, the position that uh, element 3d text that we have made uh, the text that we have made uh, its final position is one that we can see right now uh, so what we want to do now from the six second mark we want to go back to um, zero seconds and here uh, comes the fun part where you want to place uh, your text so we, so that we do not see it we want to place it off screen so what you want to do we'll just um, uh, bring it in f into the front uh, with the world position Z we'll just take it to the top right let's say from the position XY somewhere here right here 
and we'll also rotate it a bit uh, so that we get a more dynamic shot um, like so we'll just uh, rotate it in the x-axis um, then what we want to do is we'll just rotate it in the y-axis like so and we'll also rotate it in the z-axis right here so if we move the timeline indicator to the six second mark we see how the text just flies in obviously it's a bit different from what i showed you it's a bit more tilted but obviously that's the fun in making animations guys um you don't know what you'll get in the end and it's always that some and, uh, and it's always something that pleases you so here we have a text that flies right into the six second mark you could just um, shorten up the workspace like so so that uh, you can uh, select uh, what, uh, the area that you want to render right here uh, you could always use a, a new adjustment layer add some uh, color corrections to it for example you could use magic bullet looks to add a really dramatic color correction or you can you could also use after effects lighting uh, to improve your uh, camera scene uh, to improve your scene and light it a bit to uh, according to your preference uh, well actually uh, that's what we were looking for uh, we are done with the uh, rendering so I'll just show you the render setup that you can have for your uh, 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 composite so what you want to do is you want to go to com composition we want to click on add to render queue and the render setting should be best output module should be lossless and you can select the uh, output folder uh, according to your own wish uh, be sure to uh, keep in mind guys that this is a compositing software and not for final render so the file would be really heavy so that you don't lose out on quality uh, if the intro is a bit longer for example it's of 15 seconds the file might just exceed 7 to 800 megabytes and that's totally normal with After Effects because it, uh, it is as I told you a compositing software and you can't uh, afford to lose on, out on quality and one simple uh, workaround for reducing the file size is once you have rendered it in After Effects you can take it into Sony Vegas Pro and render it again without changing a thing using the settings that I once demonstrated um, in my uh, in, I guess in my earlier videos in which I am showing how to render uh, an H NHD uh, video inside of Sony Vegas so well that's all for today guys and just let me do a RAM preview for what we have created uh, in our scene right now let's see for some reason it is not letting me do that I really don't understand why uh, well <laughs> anyways uh, we have completed uh, our tutorial right here and I hope you enjoyed this uh, and uh, would stick on and subscribe to my channel for more Photoshop or After Effects tutorials.